Hey everyone, so Tornado Bennett Studio were kind enough to give me a copy of the Low Poly Dungeon Pack. For those who haven't seen my Game Jam announcement, they are the partners for the Let's Create Game Jam in August, and the Asset Pack is the prize. I've been watching them develop it over the past few months, and I've given feedback over email, so I'm super excited to mess around with it. I hadn't tried the latest version of Unity and decided that a speed environment art video would be a great excuse to use the environment pack and see what's been happening with Unity. I'll start with the asset pack. I really enjoyed using it. A bunch of tooltips came up explaining various things, such as the post-processing profiles and how to use the pack. This was pretty new to me, as in the past, I've relied on documentation. I checked out some of the demo scenes for inspiration, then I started creating my own map. The assets had great pivot points, which is super important, the scale was good, and I didn't have any material errors or issues, which was great. The only thing I did change was the material from Legacy to Stand and Shader, so I could go for a different look. I'm assuming they used the Legacy for performance. There are a ton of assets, so I had to decide a focal point pretty early on, or else I would have experimented for about an hour. I said this before after checking out the trailer for the pack, but it really does have a ton of asset variety, and as I mentioned in another video, I believe this pack's really great uh, for a solo programmer using Unity. If you're making a mobile game or a VR game, so something like Vanishing Realms, I think this pack will be extremely useful. In terms of Unity itself, I found a few improvements that were really great to work with. It appears that the post-processing is now shown in the scene view, which is really nice. I wanted that feature a long time ago. Uh, previously, one of the big issues I had was that you had to split the screen side by side. Uh, you had to have the scene view and the game view all in one. And if you're working on a single monitor, especially a laptop, that's a bit annoying. Uh, the outline around the objects is nice. I think I saw that before I switched over to Unreal. But uh, yeah, that's a really nice touch. I like the post-processing stack. I think it's great. I like these profiles. So basically you have these profiles where you can swap, like add effects in. So you have Bloom and all that. You can untick them, tick them off. They're all in the proper order. So they'll run really efficiently and everything will display properly. And they appear to be very easy to swap in and out. So I imagine it would be very simple to program post-processing changes, making it really easy to portray different themes or types of atmosphere within a single level. The other nice addition I noticed was the timeline. So if you're familiar with Unreal, you have the sequencer. Now Unity has the timeline. I really enjoyed using it. It's super intuitive. I got my camera transitions going within a few minutes. I didn't need any tutorials. It's really easy to add in. The only thing that still bothers me is I wish they had an easier way to change snapping settings. So snapping's really easy. You just hold the shortcut button down and move the object. But changing these snapping settings, you start to go into the options and change that, which is a bit annoying. I wish they had it on the screen, like in Unreal. It's a little thing, but I personally use it a lot. So it would save me a lot of time having it available in the window to just click and change the amount of units I want to move something or rotate something when I'm snapping it. That's about it for my thoughts on Unity and the assets. For those curious about what I've been up to, I've been putting in a ton of work into the course, so hopefully I'll be able to show a bit of uh, what the game for the course is going to look like. And I've been working a lot on my VR game, which I'm so excited to show all of you, and I hope to be getting the weekly devlogs, meaning the Journey to Steam videos, out soon. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.